Arthur Champernoun, Wikipedia article audio. Sir Arthur Champernoun was an English politician, high sheriff and soldier who lived at Darnington Hall in Devon, England. Champernoun belonged to a large Anglo-Norman family that originated from Cambernon, in Normandy. Following the Norman conquest of the 11th century, members of the family acquired estates in Devon. Their surname was originally spelled Champernon, and Sir Arthur Champernoun has sometimes been referred to by that spelling. He was also known by at least three other surnames, Chamborn, Chapman, and Chamberlain. Other members of the Champernoun family were prominent in court, political and military circles during the 16th century. Arthur Champernoun's aunt Lady Cot Dashley was governess to Queen Elizabeth I, and Sir Walter Raleigh and Sir Humphrey Gilbert were his nephews. Champernoun is sometimes confused with several relatives also christened Arthur, especially Sir Arthur Champernoun, an emissary of Elizabeth I during the 1580s. Champernoun was the second son of Sir Philip Champernoun of Montbury, Devon. When England was alerted to a possible invasion, he served in the English army at the Siege of Balown. In 1549, Champernoun helped subdue a rebellion that sought to have the Latin Bible restored to a position of authority over the English language version. The rebellion began in Cornwall, where the Cornish language was still widely spoken and English was regarded as a foreign language. He was knighted on November 10, 1549 for his part in crushing the Western Rebellion. Champernoun was an ardent Protestant. He flirted with the conspiracy of cousin, Sir Peter Carew to support the claim of Lady Jane Grey but wisely settled for accepting Mary Tudor. Champernoun was installed as Member of Parliament for Barnstable in 1552. He spent early 1554 in the Tower, but was released on recognizance of a fine of £1,000, and allowed to return to Devon. Although excluded from office by the Marian regime, he was chosen a local JP in 1555. They elected him in turn for Plymouth Oral in 1555, Plymouth in 1559 and Tottens in 1563. In 1546 Sir Arthur married Mary Norris, widow of Sir George Carew, whose father Sir Henry Norris had been implicated in the fall of Anne Bullen and was beheaded. In 1554 he exchanged with Thomas Aylworth, Lord of Dartington, the mansion house at Palso, Exeter for the Dartington estate, which contained the medieval Dartington Hall. By 1560 the construction of a new Elizabethan front on the foundation of the older buildings was underway and this continued for several years. His descendants continued to live in Darnington Hall until it became partly derelict and was sold in 1925. Official Posts On the accession of Elizabeth I he developed his maritime interests, from being Sheriff of Devon in 1559-60, he put to sea. As Vice Admiral appointed in 1563, his service against French pirates was noted, constant harassment along the western approaches. However, from time to time he cooperated with the privateers of Jean de Albert, Queen of Navarre, against Catholic Spain. In December 1568, many of these ships were driven up the Channel and into Southampton and Portsmouth to be received by Sir Arthur and Edward Horsey, in the name of the Queen of England. In 1568 he had organized the robbery of the Spanish treasure fleet which was taking money to the Duke of Alva, Regent of the Netherlands. Champernoun personally delivered 64 boxes of treasure weighing some 8 tons safely to the Tower of London, worth some 2 million reales. Over half of the money was used by Queen Elizabeth to fund her navy, the remainder she sent on to Amsterdam. He was a prominent supporter of Protestantism and in 1572, his son Gawain married the daughter of Gabriel, Count of Montgomery, a Huguenot. The Count, whose immediate forebears were Scots, was captain of the Scotch Guards. Champernoun was of de Worcy, France for the marriage and reported back to Lord Burley on the conditions in France. Following the massacre of St. Bartholomew's Eve, the Count escaped France and was given refuge at Dartington Hall. Champernoun wrote to Queen Elizabeth proposing the raising of an army to provide relief for the Protestants in France. In 1574 he led a relief expedition which went spectacularly wrong. Montgomery had already been captured and executed in Normandy, and the English fleet could only aid the Huguenot captains of La Rochelle. Sir Arthur's daughter Elizabeth married Sir Edward Seymour of Barry Pomeroy in 1576. Champernoun was continuing to support the naval exploits against France, when he wrote his will in March 1578. 
He died at Darnington Hall on April 1st.